What's up guys, Iman with Dune Serpents. This is a very in the moment video I'm making. I just decided to take my phone out and start filming. Uh, it's gonna be breaking down pretty much how we're gonna do the first part of the build. The build's gonna be broken up into two separate appointments and I'm gonna pretty much explain what I'm doing and we're gonna be covering all of it. Before we begin today's video, I'd like to say thank you to my new sponsor, the Shift app. And to better explain what the Shift app is, I have the man himself here who's in charge of the Shift app. What's up guys? The shift app lets you cover shift. Start over. It's like, just so I have a better cut line. Yeah, okay. Three, two. What's up guys? The shift app lets you cover shifts instead of working full-time or part-time jobs. Uh, if you are a business owner, you can get shift coverage on demand. Let's say you're a person called out or you need someone last minute or you're in the hiring process and you got two weeks of hiring. You can use the shift app to find coverage with our vetted users. And for today's partnership, we are giving away $500 if we hit 1,000 users that use the code DUNESHIFT. That's D-U-N-E-S-H-F-T. Thank you to Dune Serpent and thank you all. All right, let's get into it. Uh, as you can see, my hair is an absolute mess. Like I said, this video is in the moment. I just decided to take my phone out and just start filming and just talk, you know? Um, like I mentioned, we are breaking this build into two segments. So first, it's going to be going to Louie, a.k.a. Built by Bruno, if you live in Florida and you want to build a pre-runner or even just simple lift kits and all that stuff. He can do it all. So check out Built by Bruno or MGM Yoda, as a lot of you guys may know on Instagram. But yeah, so first appointment's going to him. Second appointment's going to Axiom Race Fab in Melbourne, Florida. They will be doing the Chromoly TIG welded cage for me. And... Uh, that's gonna be a little more complicated, but I'm really excited for that. And I'll get into that shortly. But first, let's start with what we're doing with Louie. First things first, I'm actually doing some wiring work right now. I actually want your opinion if I should do like the SDHQ or S-Pod. I'm not good with wiring, the 4x4 S-Pods, whatever it is. Let me know uh, if anyone wants to let me try them, like sponsor opportunities. Also, let me know, that'd be kind of sick. Anyways, uh, let's ignore that. So first thing we're doing is gonna start with the front. When he has the truck, he's gonna be putting the Tundra steering racks and take all this apart. So Tundra steering rack, RC heavy duty tie rods, and we're also gonna be putting a new steering shaft. The steering uh, right now has a shaft that has like, kind of like these crumple points in them. They're meant to, you know, if you crash, they crumple. So it's actually a safe thing, but we're just gonna do a solid shaft. That way it's not uh, as wide and it's not gonna be hitting my chassis, which it is right now. So it's gonna be stronger, a little bit less safe technically, cause you know, they're supposed to crumple if you crash, but whatever, we're just going a straight rod. But uh, we're doing that while he has the front apart. Hopefully my camera can pick up. I don't have any light right now, but he's gonna be beefing up this part of the chassis with a plate kit in the front going all the way through here. We're gonna redo the uh, limit strap locations right there. So he's gonna have to re-weld all that and work around the bypass shock tower. So a lot of work here. This whole front end is going to be taken apart. And he's also going to be putting 529 gears in the front because the rear end is going to be 529 gear ratio as well. So we're taking the 48s out. Those are going to be for sale. Also, my rear end is going to be for sale. It is already pre-welded, ready for a Dirt King spring under kit. So if you guys want that, let me know. It's for sale. It's got 48s. I can do the whole package, front and rear end. And, you know, it saves a lot of work. That way you can just go pre-runner without having to do as much of the work but yeah so that's coming out 529s to the 35 inch tires told you guys multiple times get the right ratio for your tire size get 48s for 33s 529 for 35 simple uh you don't want to mess with that ratio and your rpms and all that stuff it really does matter so yeah that's what i'm doing the gears are from nitro um next he's doing the rear end in the back he's gonna have to Weld all the perches on, the shock tabs, all that nasty stuff. But the rear end's pretty much ready to go. I believe it's 70 inches or whatever it was. I know it's 2.5 inches wider on each side than factory. So like right now, if you go spring under kit, you need two inch spacers on the stock rear end to clear the bypass and the glass and all that. Um, so yeah, those are like two inches wider, but this is gonna be naturally with the full floater axle two and a half inches wider. So I'm gonna have perfect width in the rear and I'm really excited for that. So yeah, without any spaces or anything, just full floater, two and a half inch wider, 
per side. So it's gonna be perfect for the mid-size application. And yeah, he's gonna put that on and we're gonna do a custom drive shaft for that. He's gonna be doing a Kibbe Tech handbrake in the middle going to Will Woods in the back. I'm gonna be putting Will Woods in the front as well, but I'll probably do that later myself. This build is kind of getting out of hand right now. So I'm just gonna save that for a little bit later, even though that's so important. If you guys wanna hear a fun fact, you guys are gonna probably roast me for this. It's unsafe. I haven't even touched my brake pads or changed my brakes in the front. I've just, you know, do they work well? Not even, I've been in so many close call situations, but I only take this truck off-roading. So I definitely need to put some brakes up here. And I've just been so lazy because I'm like, you know, I'm gonna put the Wilwoods up here. What's the point of even doing all the work and changing the pads and all that? So that's just me being lazy. But yeah, I'm gonna put with the Wilwoods up here, match the ones in the rear. And that's gonna be all in one appointment. I'm probably missing a couple stuff because it's gonna be hectic, but yeah, that's going on with the first appointment. So right off the bat, I'll be ready to drive after that. This truck's gonna be a game changer. Then we're going to the cage in Melbourne with Axiom Race Fabrication. Uh, we're gonna do a engine tower going across. A little custom thing I wanna do here in the back is actually have the cage come out from here, tie into the bed cage, kind of link here, like an X design, make it look nice and pretty. So yeah. That's gonna be stronger than this is gonna tie into the chassis in the rear. That way this is not gonna be a bolt-on bed cage anymore. It's gonna be connected to the chassis and everything's gonna be one solid piece, nice and strong. I'll find a couple points on the chassis, maybe that one to link together. But the point is, uh, aside from the cage, I'm gonna be beefing this thing up when they have it. I'm gonna be just going over a bunch of stuff with them that I want taken care of. I want this truck to be as strong as possible. Whatever it takes, I want it done in one appointment. I'd rather them have it for a long time and knock everything out of the way than me having to take it back to them. So everything's gonna be connected. Uh, I haven't really set, like have a layout of what I want, but I just know cage, bed cage linked in, the engine tower for the shock tower supports. And yeah, that's gonna be the main stuff. And I'll, you know, if you guys have any other recommendations of what I should beef up. I already have the plate kit in the rear. I'm doing the plate kit in the front. If you have any other things you guys want me to do to this truck when they're caging it, like, you know, weak points on the Tacoma that maybe I don't know about or I'm forgetting, please let me know. Because if it is something that will break down the line, I will address it. So let me know in the comments before I send this thing off in July for the cage appointment. As far as when all this is happening with Louis, right now we're looking at end of March. I appreciate you guys staying along for the journey. Um, I've been ready to do this for a long time, but as you know, it's not about the money. Pre-runner stuff takes forever. Like I'm still waiting on my rear end. Like I have to find a master rebuild kit, the bearings and everything for the front gears. Like I had to wait for my steering rack, which I just got, but everything takes time. Everything's built for you. It's all custom. So, you know, it takes time and whatever they tell you, it takes longer. So that's just the reality of it. I am going to be putting new uh, fiberglass bedsides. I'll do a video on fiberglass separately. Mine's cracking. Still going to be the same company, Glasscraft. Uh, I've kind of just abused the rear. And I skipped out on one main step, which is uh, line Xing the inside of the fenders. Don't skip out on that step, guys. I did. I was so eager to get my glass on and paint it and all that stuff. The front's doing just fine. But the rear is, you know, unfortunately, it, it, it did well. Solid two years of just heavy off-roading, but it's time has come and starting to crack. Do I have another year or two left with it? Of course, but it's just not starting to look pretty right now, but it's holding on just fine, but I want it to be pretty. So we're gonna do that. Uh, another recommendation, I need your guys' help. I will go with whatever you guys tell me. I will either do a really thick PPF right here, you know, cause I do love the all cement, or if you guys think I should do like a pattern, like this with all black line X. I don't want to do the paint match line X. I, I don't like it. So that's just me, but I wanted to do like a pattern like here, just all line X this portion. Uh, let me know what you guys think would look cooler. Cause it's going to be rock chipping. I don't know if the PPF is going to be strong enough. That's what I want is PPF, but I don't know how strong that's going to be. So as you can see, look at all that. Yeah. I don't want that. I just want clean, uh, cement paint job going all the way around the truck. Other than that, 35 inch Toyo MTs in the summer, I've been pushing that off because I am so lazy to undo these beadlocks. I am not looking forward to that whatsoever. 
Uh, I'm just, yeah, you know, it's one of those things. I kind of regret going bead locks right now, to be honest, but it's nice to have. But yeah, gonna be doing that. And I'm probably missing a couple things, but like I said, this is just in the moment. And that's what's gonna be, we're gonna be covering all of it. So we're gonna cover the entire build with Louie when he's tearing it down. Hopefully Axiom will re let me film the cage. I really hope they'll let me do that, but unfortunately they're in Melbourne, so they're gonna have to do it themselves because I'm in Orlando. So, yeah. Anyways, that's that for today's video. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. I know this was just super random and it's just bootleg and unedited and all that, but I'm just, you know, speaking from the heart here. Just wanted to talk straight off my mind right now. And yeah, thanks for tuning in, appreciate it.